is Redfeather from Grefax. In this credit video, we'll be showing you how to reposition text by changing its perspective and how to place a curve in text or deform the text using vector tools. The text items you are seeing were created using this process. Also, we will show you how to make the credit text with a transparent background. Open Krita, create a new canvas. Then create the text statement you would like to use, adjusting size and color. Once this is done in Krita, make any further adjustments like size and so forth. Then go to layers, right click the vector layer that holds the text. Merge it to the paint layer below. Then add another layer, placing it below the paint layer that holds the credit text. This will be for our background color. Highlight the paint layer that now holds the text. Then go to the Krita toolbox, clicking on the rectangular selection tool. Go to the canvas, drawing a box around the text to be adjusted. Go back to the Krita toolbox, clicking on the transform a layer or selection tool. Then go to the tools and options, clicking on perspective. Then to the canvas, moving the text into a good position. Once this is done in Krita, notice there are four points at each corner of the text. Grabbing one of the points, pushing or pulling the points, changes its perspective, allowing you to place the text sideways or even lay it down. Keep doing this until you have your credit text laid out and positioned how you would like. Once this is done in Krita, go to layers and highlight the paint layer for the background color. Placing the color you would like. Examine the text if needed. Highlight the layer that holds the text and make further adjustments if needed. Once you are happy, right click the layer and merge it with the Krita paint layer below. Now let us create the text statement for the bottom half of our Krita example. You can resize first if needed by utilizing the Krita transform a layer or and selection tool. Once this is done, merge it with the paint layer below. Once this is done in Krita, we can reorganize our text statements how we would like, although there is some caution to be taken here. Because we now have a few Krita text statements on our layer, while arranging them, make sure to leave enough room so as you can grab one statement without the other. Utilizing the Krita Rectangular Selection tool in the Transform a Layer or Selection and in the Tools and Options perspective, we will cause this part of the statement to lay flat. Once this is done, deselect the item so as the setting sets in. Then, using the Krita Rectangular Selection tool again and the Transform a Layer or Selection tool, resize the text statement to a proper size. Keep doing this. 
create a process until you achieve the outcome you would like. Take your time readjusting your credit project as needed. Once this is done in Krita and you are happy with your arrangement, you can merge it with the layer below and then export as a PNG. For the next part of our Krita example, I will just shut off the eyelet and add two new layers. One for a background color, if needed, and the other for our text statement. Using our credit text tool, let's create our text statement, adjusting font size and color. Once this is done in Krita, using the transform a layer or selection tool, reposition and resize the text. Once this is done in Krita, merge the vector layer that holds the text to the paint layer below. Once this is done, go back to the Krita toolbox, clicking on the Transform a Layer or Selection Tool, then click on Tools and Options, scroll over to Mesh, and click. On the Krita Canvas, you can manipulate the text in order to put a curve in it, either by pushing on the center line or and or moving the corner boxes and the outer dots. Once this is done, off click by clicking on the brush tool in the credit toolbox, click back on the transform a layer or selection tool, readjusting the size if needed. If you are happy, it is time to create our next set of text, adjusting the credit font size and color. Once this is done in Krita, using the Transform a Layer or Selection tool, resize and position the text just to get an idea of what it will look like. Off click by clicking on another tool like the brush tool, but keep in mind we are still on the Krita vector layer. And some tools will not function here unless they are vector related. But this is what we want. Once this is done in Krita, in the toolbox, click on the Edit Shapes tool. Then go to the canvas, hover over one of the text letters, and right click. Notice the box that appears saying to path. Click on it. I know this looks a little odd, but it's not really. If I off click by clicking on transform a layer or selection tool, we can see Krita has just recreated our text. Next, in the Krita toolbox, Click on the Rectangular Selection tool and to the canvas, draw a box around the new text. Then using the Credit Transform a Layer or Selection tool, resize the text to a similar size we previously chose. Once this is done in Krita, click back on the Edit Shapes tool now this, as you can see, makes more sense. Notice there are plenty of points to move around, as well as outer dots that can be, that can also help deform or manipulate each credit text letter. 
you may find in some situations where there appears to be too many points or not enough. By clicking on the Tools and Options, you can add or remove points. Once you are done, off-click by clicking on the Credit Transform a Layer or a Selection Tool. If you need to make further adjustments, click back on the Edit Shapes tool. If you are happy how your credit project looks, right-click and merge it to the paint layer below. Once this is done in Krita, make any final adjustments by utilizing the rectangular selection tool and transform a layer or selection tool. Once this is done in Krita, click on the paint layer that will hold your background color and place the color on the canvas. Re-examine the Krita project with the color added. If everything still looks good, merge it with the layer below. If you don't want the clear background, you can export as a PNG now. But for the next part of this credit example, we will prepare our project to have a clear background. When saving, here is what a clear background PNG looks like in the picture viewer. In order to do this, go to Layers, highlight the background layer, click on the credit lock symbol to unlock. Then right click on Properties. Lower the opacity to zero. Click OK. Click the lock button symbol again to relock. Now it is time to export as a PNG. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? Ringing that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abeyu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.